I want to make this really clear for everyone. I didn't even want to make this video. I just kept ignoring it, ignoring the comments and just letting people do whatever they want. But when people start spamming my comment section with hundreds of comments and links trying to promote their religious beliefs and convert people, firstly, my channel is not about religion. It never was and it never will be. I get a lot of comments from Israelites, a lot. I understand that you want to save my soul and protect me from damnation and bring me into the light and knowledge and wake me up. I'm going to tell you right now, I appreciate it. I understand your reasons behind it, but no, it's pointless. My mind is made up and was made up a long time ago. I don't mean to offend, but no matter how many times you tell me I'm an Israelite, no matter how many links you post, no matter how many books you tell me to read, I have done it, I do not believe it, and I'm not an Israelite. Please leave me be. Let me make this really easy for everybody. I am not a Christian. I am not a Muslim. I am not a Jew, and I am not an Israelite, Benjamin, Ephraim, or any other tribe. I do not believe in Jesus, white, black, brown, or any other race. The only Jesus I know is the Dominican one that owns the bodega on Manhattan Ave. Now, I know some of y'all got angry at that already, but the thing is, I'm not an atheist. I believe in God. But how can you believe in God if you don't believe in Jesus? Yeah, it's real easy. My mother was Roman Catholic, my father a Bobo Shanti Rastafarian. I grew up raised under both. I converted to Islam when I was 18. I left the fold of Islam when I was 25. I looked to Christianity again, Hebrew Israelites, and at 26, my mind was made up. I didn't want no part of any religion, and I still don't, and it's not going to change. I believe in God, just not your God. I said to myself five years ago, if I was created in God's image, then who is this white man with blue eyes, straight blonde hair? Why would I follow a religion that was used to oppress and control my ancestors and continues to do so to the descendants? To me, religion is about doing what you're told and believing the words of another, regardless if you believe it's right or not. Spirituality is about doing what's right, regardless of what you're told. Religion is man-made. Spirituality is God-made. I believe God gave us the word. But then man took it and plagiarized God's words, so we would worship man instead. I do not need to follow your God or a particular religious doctrine to have a relationship with God. God has no religion, and neither do I. I'll get to where I need to without shackles or restrictions. Growing up, all I did was look for God. But she wasn't in no church, mosque, synagogue, or temple. She was in the last place we ever look, within us. God made man and man-made religion. Now I know a hundred or more people want to run to the comment section, but you can't tell me anything about my beliefs. You can quote a million scriptures, but you'd be a fool if you thought I hadn't already read them or studied them already. A story in any book is not evidence. Neither is a metaphor that might explain something or anything. I have never seen any compelling evidence for the which is or is not the one true religion or that Jesus is the son of God or even God herself. Religion is like a beauty product, and preachers and other religious people are like commercials sitting there telling you you're ugly and you're doomed to be alone unless you try my product. And just like that, there are thousands of these everywhere. But most people have found their chosen beauty product and are convinced it makes them pretty enough for the world or righteous enough for God. And everybody else using a different product thinks that the other is using the wrong one. That's an analogy. As explanation by example, it's fine. As evidence, it's meaningless. There is no evidence to that analogy whatsoever. It's like the soul. No actual proof there is a soul. There is evidence that says when we die, we're slightly lighter than when we're alive. Does that prove the soul left the body? Not quite. You could interpret it in your own way. But does that make it facts? No. Some religious people are really bad at logic. Notice I said some. They're unaware of what constitutes a logical argument. Saying, but in the Bible, or in the Quran, it says, that's simply not a logical argument. The Bible isn't proof. A book cannot be the evidence of its own veracity. That requires outside corroboration. Religious people are so in the habit of quoting passages from a particular book to one another to make a point. These texts are not actually proof. It's known as unacceptable evidence. An argument between a religious person and a spiritual person is technically pointless. A religious person has one irrefutable argument, and that is, I believe.
Because you can't argue with somebody when their argument is, I believe. It's their belief. They're entitled to hold it. The spiritualist argument is, I believe in God, but not religion as religion was man-made. If religion was not man-made, then there would not be multiple sects of Christianity or multiple sects of Islam and multiple religions all with different beliefs. You see, religion is like a mountain. There are hundreds of paths up the mountain, all leading to the same place. So it doesn't matter which path you take. The only person wasting time is the one who runs around the mountain telling everyone that his or her path is wrong. So jumping in my comment section and saying you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, when really you should be focused on your path ahead. Religious people see spiritual people as people who cherry pick the parts that suit them. But in reality, spiritual people just want to be purely with God and no one else. So they remove all the extras, all the divisions, all the differences made by man and keep it strictly about God herself. The truth is the truth, even if no one believes it. The same as a lie is a lie, even if everyone believes it. Man turned one God into a whole bunch of different religions and then made us fight over which one is right. And now no one can agree what the truth is anymore. I can't pray to a God that was invented to oppress me. My intelligence won't allow me to be that stupid. So as a spiritual person, I will continue to believe in God and do what common sense in my heart tells me is the right thing to do without any middlemen. And when the time comes, I can say to God, I believed in you and you alone. Titles are irrelevant to God. Actions speak volumes. Now, some of you will have noticed me saying her or referring to God in the feminine. I know that's pissing some of you off. Why does he keep saying she? God's not a woman. It's a man. Or God has no sex. See, even if you believe God is a man or God has no sex, those are differing beliefs. Just because you think my belief is wrong doesn't make your belief right. It also doesn't make my belief wrong. And yes, I do believe that God is female. And I also believe that God is black. And please be aware, I'm not saying black women are God or gods. I'm saying God is a black woman. Singular, not plural. Woman is singular. Women is plural. I believe God is a woman. Patriarchal society tells us that God is a man and he's white. Yes, there are schools of thoughts that state God is an energy that's in all of us and we are all gods in our own right. But based on research and introspection, I've come to the conclusion that God is a black woman. This is my belief. Someone said to me once that saying God is a black woman is blasphemous, but it's only blasphemous to you because it goes against what you've been taught to believe. But to me, saying God is not a black woman is blasphemous to me and my beliefs. But I want you to think about this for a moment. What if everything you were told and taught was a lie, but the truth was so far-fetched and so far from the norm that you couldn't accept the truth? What if all you were taught was done purposely to keep you away from the truth? I'm going to put a link in the description to a video of mine called God is a Black Woman. It goes in great detail about my beliefs and how I came to that conclusion. So if you're interested in why I believe this and the evidence I found on my journey, then check out the video. My belief doesn't have a name, by the way. There's no religion involved. It's just me, my conscience, and God. And if you feel the need to unsubscribe from me because of my spiritual beliefs, then please do so. I understand. But I wonder if you'd unfollow me if I was a Buddhist or a Muslim, or if I was a Christian of a different branch or a different sect with a slightly different belief to you. Probably not, because that would be classed as bigotry. Everyone has their own beliefs and everyone should be entitled to them, as well as everyone should be entitled to not be harassed in every video about religion. I respect your right to believe God is a man or an energy or that you are the chosen children of God. Hell, I even respect someone's right to believe God is the sun, the moon, an elephant, a goat if they want. I can respect it, but do I believe it? That's a whole different story. So please respect our rights and beliefs. So I'm going to ask, after I've told you, I do not believe that I am an Israelite. I have done my research and I have come to my own conclusion. If you want to see me as the damned and go into hell, then so be it. Please leave me alone. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new, never before seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. IKYG.com is a black-owned, black-ran platform, 100% free from censorship.
It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.